Great day, family. Great day. Me back on time, so I want to say, bring them out, 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 bring them out. All right, I don't know what combination this is, but this is a bottle that I found. I know it's not cherry. I don't know what it is though. We're gonna find out. Um, I had some um, ambrosia lap a couple of weeks ago. And I just started mixing, but it actually does look red. So we're going to see what we got here. All right, peace to whoever is out there. We're about to gonna get started. Before we get started, I need to share some information, man. I am very sad at this point in time. Um, uh, peace, Kwame. Um, To make a long story short, I'm sitting in the house yesterday. I'm about to do some um, some research, and uh, I get a call on my phone from a strange number, and people are reporting to me, somebody I don't know, that my son got robbed. I'm like. What? My, my son upstairs. So I'm thinking it's one of my older boys, one of my grown men out here. You know what I'm saying? Calling for help. And uh, so I'm confused. So I call for Cleveland upstairs, and Cleveland is not upstairs. So uh, person tells me, well, your son was out. Um, some guys pulled up on him in the car and snatched a tablet out of his hand. And I'm like, a tablet out of his hand? What are you doing out? Well, who was this? Where you at? So, they give me some uh, address or some area um, about a half a mile from my house. So, um, it turns out that my son is out uh, Pokemon hunting with my tablet in a neighborhood that he don't know. And I'm sad because I it's like a, a part of me uh, I, well let's put it this way I'm like after deal after going through brother with Casey's workshop, I, I'm trying to identify the feelings. First off, right, I feel violated. Right, first off, um, by the young man that pulled up on my son. You know what I'm saying? It's like a certain thing was snatched away from him. Not just the goddamn tablet, but a, a, a sense of uh, of innocence because obviously my son exists in a world where he feels he could go Pokemon hunting at 9 p.m. in a strange neighborhood and I don't know I'm I'm I'm, I'm sitting up here like you know what I'm saying I, I, am I not preparing you right you don't really understand 
where you went, where you at. I understand because, you know, he grew up around family, right? He's at school. He's around family, safe. Um, he grew up safe. Um, and it's like maybe I didn't expose him to some of the shit that he need. And I'm sad. I, 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 I'm sad because I, I, I feel like um, I, you know I don't know I, you, I, maybe maybe one of y'all can help me out there man because it's like because he should be able to do that shit that, you know what I'm saying I mean as, as crazy as that shit sound my son should be able to Pokemon hunt right you know what I'm saying Without motherfuckers rolling up on him and, and 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 violating him, you understand what I'm saying? But I understand that he can. You know what I'm saying? Because either it's us preying on us or it's others preying on us. And I have to ask myself, what did I give him to get him prepared for this moment? Right. I mean, well, is there anything I could have did to prepare him for, for for such a moment? You know what I'm saying? To prepare him for individuals that look like him to roll up on him and to violate him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Um, but yo, you know, it's libation. It's libation time. It's it's toasting time. I want to send shots out to brother Kwame. I want to send shots out to brother. Uh, uh, Sean King, also known as Hazen or the Breath of Reality. I want to thank y'all for joining me. Uh, um, I want to make this announcement about the workshop that will be popping off, a community workshop that will be popping off um, on this near, right? On Friday, August 11th. We got Brother Wakesa coming in. Um, and maybe you're going to be able to help me to identify and ask the proper questions. Um, because I do need some space. Right? I, I, I do need some space. Because um, Brother Kwame says, I often one of the same. Misunderstanding of our young is much more detrimental than the mistakes made by us as youngsters. Or at least it appears so. Of the one to the same misunderstanding of our young, it's more detrimental than the mistakes made by us. As you, yeah, I mean it's like he he put himself in a real real bad situation because I had to I had to drive to where he was. Just how far away he was from the house. You know what I'm saying? Um, he kind he he kind of deceived his mom to to get outside. The Pokemon hunt and this fucking Pokemon game, um, with you know you 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 got your face down the screen. First off, he walking, um, and it's getting dark. With his face in this fucking tablet, not knowing or being aware. Where actually, um, I'm I, I'm 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 glad that he didn't get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Because he could have been walking, um, looking at the tablet, walked out in the street. Um, he could have ran up on a whole another level. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, because that's the first thing I asked him when I got out the car. You know what I'm saying? I said, I said, I, I said, I said, Clee, where are you at? Where, where are you at? I said, do you know anybody around here? You know what I'm saying? What would happen if, if, if some good Samaritans didn't notice that you was distressed? And, and and call me. You know what I'm saying? What if you would have got hurt? How would you have got home? You were a, a half a mile away from home. What you should be able to do. See, this is this this, this is the paradox. I used to I mean I did dumb I, I you know, as a young person we are we should be able to make we should be able to make mistakes without without them being uh, uh, life threatening. You know what I'm saying? We talking about people rolling up. We talking about a. a, a we we talking about they pulled up on a, a twelve year old in a car. You know what I'm saying? Jumped out the car and took his shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Now that that, that that's a violation on a whole nother level. That's that's some real nigga shit, right? And it's like you know, and it's like you know, I I can't track down my device, but I don't know what I'm gonna do when I track down my motherfucking device. See, because. All right, make sure you get your water, family. Make sure you get your water, fam. See, because this, it, it, it's things like this, right? You know what I'm saying? I see stuff on Facebook, and 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 it's like you know, you you you. My whole life, my whole life, I've been wanting to work to build up um, a community. Right, my whole life, cause I understand that there's no I without we, you know, and I, I'm talking about borders on you know in the morning. I'm talking about skin in the game, right? But my son came and played half a mile from his house, and and yeah, he shouldn't have been out with my tablet, but. He could he should have been able to be out with my tablet. One of my wife's school girls, middle school, was kidnapped. She had the wherewithal to escape, but they had her in her car and it could have been Yeah, see, this type of shit see, this is what I'm talking about as far as yesterday I was talking about skin in the game. It, it, it's we living in areas where we don't even know the neighbors. I mean it, we, we And the, the 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 enemy is sort of like it's sort of like um, when they told Neil don't go into crowded places. You never know when Agent Smith when an agent is gonna pop up. You know. Yeah, short north. Yeah. But you know, one of the parts about the the short north that a lot of people don't know. A lot of those people, or at least used to be, it was um, at one point in time, the short north, I mean, that was like generational. It's like when I used to work up in the short north, there was families that have been in the short north for like 30, 40 years. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like when we, the, the, public housing or, you know, uh, uh, what they call it, where uh, people are transient and they're able to move in and move out and move, you know what I'm saying, you uh, 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 section eight and stuff like that, you got, you got, I don't know, man, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But get your healthy water, y'all, get your water, get your drink on. See, I didn't want Cleve to have to have to come up like some of my 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 older boys, right? You know what I'm saying? Cause they was aggressive, right? Cleve Cleve is not Cleve is not that. I don't want Cleve to 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 be that. I don't want Cleve to have to um, um, fight like I had to. But it's apparent that I'm not doing him totally right. If I don't prepare him for that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because in order for me to really be able to have come up in the way I had to come up, I had I had to have grown men around me that was rough for me to fuck up. And I don't really I don't like I I I don't want that for him. You understand what I'm saying? Dig that. Dig that kidnappers weren't from the area. She attended Indianola Middle School when it was still kicking. Word. Yeah, man. I mean, because, you know, I used to work over. Wait, wow. You know, Indianola at that point in time was the oldest middle school um, in the nation. I think. Is it Ohio or the nation? But it was a historical. It, it was a historical school before they closed it down. Man, shh. But, I mean, you, you understand what I'm saying? It's like. We got, we got predators, and it's like it's hard for you to be mad at. It's hard for you to be mad at the. Um, 
Eh. It's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. Because I want to talk, but then I want to hurt somebody. You understand what I'm saying? Now right, get your water, fam. Remember, there's only four things we need to stay healthy, wealthy, and wise. Four. Air, proper breathing, proper water, culturally appropriate food, and proper movement. Fatherhood and brotherhood. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Just because people look like you, don't make them your brothers, right? Nor fathers, you know. So, I mean, we got to, we got to train our kids for a world where, man, I was, I was just talking with somebody the other day, and it's almost like, as a people, we are almost. I ain't gonna say almost, but in a lot of cases, we are by ourselves. Especially when you start waking up and you start seeing some of the predatory behaviors that we have been programmed with. Some of the self-destructive behaviors you have been programmed with. So now, once you wake up and you step out of that, out of that whole mindset, you not only have to worry about others, you have to worry about those that are within your borders. It's sort of like uh, one of the things that ancient chiefs and kings used to have to do. They used to have to um, protect not only their borders, but they used to have to protect the trading routes from um, bandits. Or if they had sea lanes, they had to protect the sea lanes from pirates. You know what I'm saying? And the pirates could look just like the people. The pirates could have at one point in time been part of the the cheap to see or part of uh, the, 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 I don't like using kingdom because they weren't always kings, but part of the, and I don't like using the term empire, but it could have been part of the tribe or, or, or whatever, but decided to go another way became predatory and, and, and became uh, of a capitalist mindset. It became all about the money. It became all about the merchandise rather than the relationships, right? But it was the, the, the rulers or the councils. Part of their responsibility was to keep those, those routes safe. And it's sort of like, man, um, as, as, as men, we got to figure out how to keep some of these routes safe because our kids... Uh, our, our kids, they shouldn't have to. They they shouldn't have to be dealing with this shit. I don't give. I don't. I don't give a damn who it is, whether it's kids their age or whether it's uh, uh, adults. You know what I'm saying? Because these motherfuckers coming from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? We we got demons running around in our in our motherfucking midst, and 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 it's okay, right? It's okay, right? We supposed to just accept that shit, right? It's it's cool, right? You know, white supremacy or whatever motherfuckers want to call it has driven us crazy, and we have to understand. And I do. I don't have to. I don't have to. No, I don't have to understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, when they, you know, what I'm saying they called it a, um, uh, as no one would call it a. When they, no one didn't call it that. Uh, Tupac made the term "ride or die" famous, right? patrolling the police, but then also taking care of the predators inside of our community. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of predatory behaviors in our community, right? That we have picked up from um from 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 from, from our enemies, from our oppressors, that we uh um allow to manifest and we accept because it's uh what is it? It's politically incorrect to point out some of the shit, right? 
You know what I'm saying? Even in school, you can see some of these behaviors, and and it's kind of you you kind of in a rough place because you can't point out and really describe the behaviors for the family because the family get upset and you're being unprofessional. But in some form of fashion, we have to start letting parents know, yo, this little motherfucker here, right? This little you know this little fella or this little gal, isn't you? Uh, you know what I'm saying? We gonna have some issues if you don't. You know what I'm saying? But how do you, you know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, I was blessed to have people around me to, to look out for me. And, you know, I just, I guess one of the pieces that I have to do that so far I've been pretty good with is making sure that Cleve had, because one of the things I, I kind of yelled at him about, because I haven't really sat down and talked with him yet, but I'm like, dude, you don't even know where you are. I said, you know, um, I said, you, you got to tell me what you did wrong. What was wrong with your strategy? I said, dude, even in the cartoon on, on Pokemon, right, that for those that don't know, you know, because I, you know, I watch some of the cartoons, at least not with um, Cleve, because he they, he's totally on, on the computer world. Um, he watches his own, but I know about the Pokemons because my, my son, uh, Wisdom, and Dante, and um, Mike Redman, they, they all used to watch Pokemon, and... and part of the Pokemon, the rule was you never had a Pokemon hunter going out by himself. I said, Cleve, first off, you don't know nobody in this neighborhood. You don't even know where you are. Right? I didn't know. It took me it took me, it took took me, me 10 minutes to get to him because I didn't know where the fuck I was going, so I had to depend on Google to get to where he was. Second, I said, Cleve, who is watching your back? Who you are Pokemon hunting with? You can't you can't go out here in these streets by yourself, baby. I mean, you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I would love for you to be able to do it. But even when I was young, dude, when I used to go out, in most cases, I always had somebody with me. Um, Brother Kwame said, an assistant to, to the district that what I did allowed me liberty to contact parents directly and say work with me, else the school district will... I don't like this new screen, uh, brother Kwame. It um, it kind of cuts you off. As an assistant, the school district that what I did allowed me liberty to contact parents directly and say work with me or else the school district will go and finish your statement. But so I got my water out the way, fam. Um, today is Ujima, um, cooperative. Is it their cooperative economics? Uh, reciprocity? Wow. Hey, <laughs> I'm talking about reciprocity after this, right? You know, um, uh, uh, it's, it's a day for the, um, um, for the modic principles, for the modic principles, the day is a day of reciprocity. Um, for the Millennium Seven, it's a day of gratitude, right? Yeah, you know, I'm grateful that my son didn't get hurt. You know, um, 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 hermetic law, the law of polarity. Damn. Um, if you were born on this day, on um, on a Ujima, um, the uh, male name is Yao, female name is Ja. In Warlock, one, two, three, four, it is your manda. Okay, um, so here's the whole statement Brother Kwame got. He says, an assistant, the school district, what uh, what they what they did was they allowed me the liberty to contact parent directly and say, work with me or else. The school district will deal with your child in a way you won't like. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, you know, and it's, but, you know, it's how can I put it? And in some cases that can work, but in other cases where you have um, um, 
a, a family totally in denial, that type of message from a school district can be very dangerous for the school district. Um, um, at least, you know, dealing in the sm in in the small place that I'm dealing from. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm in a I'm in a district of of our own. You know what I'm saying? Where um, we might not have the legal wherewithal to to be able to do some of this stuff because they make it. it it's almost it's it's almost as if um, the way things are set up is set up to 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 kind of protect to protect dysfunctional familyhood. You understand what I'm saying? I spoke with parents outside the realm of school. See, and if you work directly for the school, you have to be careful in dealing with the family outside of a professional environment because it can always be turned to something else. You know what I'm saying? This, in my experience, you have to be very, very careful, man. It becomes very dangerous because some of these some of these some of these families or some of these people in some of these families um get so upset that they don't give a fuck about your livelihood um they don't give you know what i'm saying they don't give it you you know what i'm saying so they'll try to destroy you because they ain't got shit they'll try to destroy you because they feel that I, I call it like uh, the alley cat syndrome, right? Whether it's an alley cat mom or an alley cat dad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect my alley, my alley baby, right? By all means, because this is how, this is my family, and regardless of whether my child is wrong or not, I am going to side. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, uh, one of the things we we try to teach our children, right? Um, Honor Lord, with honor loyalty and sacrifice when or when we talking to our adults. You know what I'm saying? You deal with people with honor, loyalty, and sacrifice, right? Honor is it is it honorable? Like, cause a lot of times we um we we create packs with individuals that are not honorable. You understand what I'm saying? It's like um you supposed to be down with me, right? Even though I'm not honorable in what I'm doing, like. It is is what we fighting for something that we can look up to, because when you honor means you place something above, so you're able to look up to it, not just in height, but look up to it in character. It's something that moves you up. That's what honor is. That's why when you walk into a court, the judge is always the person that represents the that's going to be placing the judgment is always sitting higher because you call it your honor because when you walk in, you're able to look up. To it, do you understand what I'm saying? So if you anytime one because as black men we all got to go to court in some form or fashion. Walk into a court and look and see how it's structured. You walk into the court and you have to look up to the judge because you honor. You, you it's, it's supposed to be it's a position of honor, which means that it's above you, not just in height but in character, right? So we make packs with groups we make packs with individuals and we feel that we owe them but one of the things we have to ask ourselves if we're dealing with my aunt is is this honorable is the pact that i have with you honorable are you doing are you are you involved in honorable actions because if you're not involved in honorable actions and our relationship is built on my aunt dude i don't have to i don't have to roll with you on some on some foul shit you know what i'm saying but in the situations that we in, like for example, this whole no snitching thing, right? You know, it, it's, it's it's supposedly about honor, but is it really about honor? That you now predators to just you know I'm not gonna report nothing. I'm gonna let the streets handle it. What? Ah, uh, yes, I understand. Indeed, I follow you, um, uh, brother Kwame. Say I feel you. I would explain to them how the school would deal with them as opposed to allowing me to call them with their child was walking a fine line. Um yeah, you know I'm mean, so you know it you know and so we got to be very careful when we dealing with stuff. I wanna um send shots out um to the people because some people are, are tuning in. Um but today we are in Yamada 
which is Warlock, which means compassion for those less fortunate than yourself. Um, the Akan ethic of the day is patience. Um, the traditional Yoruba attributes of good character. Um, emoji, moral, emoji, mora, or sensitivity. Um, this is from the um, emotional emancipation circles. Um, so, I mean, you got options of what you look for today. Today, for me, is, uh, yeah, of course, is uh, Ujima. Once again, shouts out to Brother Wakesa. I seen you up on this early in the morning. Um, we got the workshop coming. On coming tomorrow, man. I'm looking forward to it because he's gonna come in, do something for the teachers. Then he coming in, he doing something for the community. Then, then on Kaumba, right, the 12th, August the 12th, he's gonna be doing a workshop. So, like I said, get those pennies together, family. Invest in yourself. Make sure you make sure you in a place to be. It's gonna be a powerful. It's gonna be a powerful session because it's not just gonna be. Um, it's, we're going to be getting some practical skills, right? And hopefully, like I said, I get some clarity because right now, as far as emotionally, because, because and, and especially as men, family, especially as men, we have to learn to identify where we are. Right now, I'm kind of lost. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, uh, because I, I'm still, I'm still trying to track my device. You understand what I'm saying? Because I don't know. I do know. I, I do know, right? I, I, I want to find my device. And I want to find this young man's father. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because we can have a conversation. Uh, we, we, we can have a conversation. And, 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 and it could be a conversation with words. It could be a conversation in other ways. But we need... Somebody needs some help. Right? Somebody needs some help. One way or the other. Right? Drink your water, fam. This one of those experimented bottles, so this could go either way. Let me move the book out the way. I'm experimenting. It look red. I don't know. I can't remember what this is, fam. So hmm. Now. This was the mature cherry. I don't, I don't know if y'all remember, but like a month and a half ago, I had some cherry, right? And it matured. And it, oh, so we're going to see how this pours. Let's see how it pours. I hate this new screen. I don't, Facebook, I don't know what y'all doing, man. Y'all need to pull, y'all need to get it together. All right, let's pour it. Four is good, but this remember this was uh, those that remember this was a very mature batch, so we're gonna see how it tastes. Wow, but it got a kind of brown tint, so I'm thinking maybe I might have mixed some of the root beer in there. I don't, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. It smells very mature, musty, but I don't smell the cherry. All right, but anyway, we lift up our glass to our creator, by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call that energy into our day today. We starting off the day calling on the creator. We starting off the day by drinking water. We starting off the day by taking the air that the creator has blessed us with. And we're going to turn that into something powerful. We're going to turn that into something positive. We're going to build for ourselves and our people. Better yet, we're going to build for our people and ourselves, right? Um, to our mojo, right? We are one. We lift up our glass and, and we say um, we thank the Creator for, for, for allowing us to have this breath of life, and we lift it up and we say, I say. From there, we move to our personal ancestors because 
this 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 is why we do this. We we lift up our personal ancestors. We pour for those who who allowed us to experience life and be safe, who gave us the place where we can um, exist in safety for some of us, right? We we lift our glass so that um, we can remember those souls who who gave us places where we could play, who gave us things to play with. We we lift our glass to those who taught us about life. We lift our glass to those ancestors that made it possible for us to experience life. We lift our glass for those who may have sacrificed their lives so that we could be in a safe situation or even be in a situation where we have rules over our head. Because we got to understand that sometimes a lot of our ancestors did things that they did not want to do or things that they did not like to do to make sure that we can continue to exist. So we lift up our glass. Jerome Sampson, look outside. Look outside where? So we lift up our glass and we say, we lift up our glass for our ancestors. And we continue lifting up our, our glass, right? So um, call on your personal ancestors. If you have ancestors that you want to, um, you got ancestors that you want want me to salute, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Post them up. And I'll say them. But if not, those of you that know how this works, go ahead and say, go ahead and say your ancestor's name. This is called Ambrosius. It's called Ambrosius. So here we go, right? I'm calling on my ancestors, call on yours. Miles Brown, Miss Ann. Robin and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, Krista and Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris. Um, Jeremiah Tappan, uh, my fault. Uh, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Wash Ellis, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis. Um, Avira Brown, Gina Gaines, my aunt Katie, um, my aunt Barbara, um, Watts Jr., uh, Herman Brown II, um, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Toppin once again, um, Brother Montague Pittman there. Um, John Fillard, Dr. Marianne Williams, um, Terrell Dunbar, Tony Clark, Normal X, Sepet Ma'ra, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, Elder Harrison, Elder... Elder Harrison. Dr. Marianne Williams. Dr. Uh, no, Elder Millie Dixon. Um, that's all I could think of today, fam. We lift up our glass and we say our shade. From there, we salute this moment. We are in Ujima, so we lift up our glass to this day, this day of power, cooperative economics, we lift it up and we say our shade. From there, we move to our children, our children's children, on to affinity. We, we toast them. We lift up our glass to them because we know that everything that we're working towards right now is for them. We're working for a better world for them. So right now, we lift up our glass and we say our shade. From there, I toast you. All right? Any things that you need me to toast, any things that you want to toast, lift up your glass, we salute, and we say, Ashe, 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 I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. That's not bad. Actually, it's kind of dry. Which means that uh, damn near all damn is not all the sugar, but damn near all the sugar is gone.
only thing to make this better is a smoothie. All right. So, fam, I want to thank y'all for joining me. Any comments about what we was talking about today, feel free to hit me up. Um, I was totally thrown off, so I don't even know. This might be the only broadcast I do today because I'm, I was just, I'm thrown off, man. You know, I'm like, yo, but it's cool. I still got to talk with my son in a rational way because I didn't get a chance to talk to him in a rational way. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just, but you know, it's a it's a shame in the world that uh, we have to prepare our young, especially our young. Well, actually, our young men and our women, because it's a it's a dangerous predatory predatory world for all of them. You know, and we do got to have some type of extensive warrior training, especially just for our boys, right? And unfortunately, part of that is, I mean, we ain't even unfortunate because it's been it's been that way since the beginning of time. You know what I'm saying? We got to make sure our boys are able to defend themselves, not just physically, but they're able to mentally outthink their opponents. They're able to uh, emotionally hold themselves together. They're able to um, um, feel things, feel when things are going wrong intuitionally. And all these things can be trained. All these things can be strange, um, like for the intuition. It's called instinct. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people call it instinct. When you get that gut feeling, we, we talked about that, right? The gut feeling is a real thing. When you start really exploring the gut health, right, you know, the, your gut is your second brain. Actually, in some cases, it's your first brain, right? So, now, for some of y'all, we got, I got a fast coming up. Some of y'all might want to join me on the fast. We know that on August 21st, we're going to have an eclipse, right? I'm saying, hey, let's get our minds right. Some of us, we get our minds and our bodies right. So on that Imani, um, actually, I might do it before. But, you know, you could do, um, if, and those of you that can't fast the whole day, you could do an intermittent fast. Or, like I said, join, join us for... The uh, daily toast, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you are so right. Must discern the good. Oh, dude, that's one of those. That's one of those laws. You know what I'm saying? We, um, like you spoke about yesterday, is uh, being able to distinguish the real from the unreal, right? Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? That is, that is getting in tune with our internal universe and allowing that gut to talk to us, right? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, like for example, the 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 good, the um, one of the things that I'm discovering, the the feel good um, chemical serotonin, right? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't we don't talk about this, but 98 percent of serotonin is not produced in the brain. It's produced in the gut. It's produced with the gut bacteria. You know what I'm saying? There's there, there's neural receptors all the way from your mouth all the way down. To in, into your rooter from your rooter to your tutor, you know what I'm saying. So we have to be very clear. What's up? What's up, Will? What's up, Will? Hey, hit me up because uh, your nephew got robbed last night. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it, it ain't funny, man. But hey, but you hit me up. Um. So hey. Um. I want to thank y'all. I'm about to mix up this smoothie. I know some of y'all want to see how it looks. Alright, so let's see. Alright. So I'm about to go and get ready for the day, fam. Uh, once again, I want to remind y'all that the family will be gathering on um, tomorrow night. Brother Wilkes will be in town. And, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to get some valuable skills. So come on out, join us. 
Come meet some of your fam. Come meet some new family. You know what I'm saying? Come meet some old family. I need, it was too many lumps. But yeah, man, um, when you really look at the, the principles of our ancestors, man, it really encouraged a total a total knowledge. Like, because a lot of us, we're, we're very cerebral. We, we, we're caught in the mind. But part of experience, uh, Maya, Maya is a whole body thing. Right, this is this is where a lot of us go wrong because we try to separate the spirit, the mind, the body, the into what what we have to do is we have to find a way to bring all those things in balance because the key piece of my eye, one of the first things that we all learn, if we don't remember nothing else about my eye, we know that it's the scales, right? So it's about bringing all that into balance. Want to see, bro, or Casey, but my pockets are really hurting for the next few months. Hey, um. Come out on Friday and holler at your brother, right? Come on, holler at your brother. We work something out, brother Kwame. You already know that. We can work something out. Um, come see me on Friday, um, and um, I'll be at the school because the Friday session is free. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we know your heart, so come come holler at your brother, all right? So um. This is to all of y'all. You ain't gonna have to find me. You know where I'm at. <laughs> I practically live over there. But yeah, I'll be up there on Friday. We'll work it out. Alright? So family, I'm out. I gotta get my mind right. Because I gotta do something for YouTube. Now, for those that don't know, I do the the YouTube piece. Um, like and subscribe. Also, click the bell so that you know when I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? So I send some of y'all invitations out. Some of y'all be like, ah, I don't want to be invited. All right? I don't want to accept the invitation. But you know, this lets you know. Some of y'all need an alarm to get up early in the morning anyway. So um, go on, take the invite. You know what I'm saying? So, um, oh, but I'm going to be changing the format. Now, we're going to continue doing the toast. I'm going to continue doing the toast. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that range, sign, six, six, or whatever. But um, the the show, I'm going to start changing the format of the, the um, daily toast discussion. Because what I want to do is I want to break it down into, I don't know how I'm going to break it down yet. But I'm not going to continue doing that on um, on the daily basis, right? Because I want to be able to categorize what I'm talking about. I want to be able to be able to give people, um, to send people exactly to where they need to go if they're looking for certain information. And then also I want to make it a little bit more available for y'all out there. So if y'all have certain things that y'all want me to cover, y'all can hit me up let me know. But yo, this is Brother Hot Tim. I'm out. I'm sending much love out to the fam. I want to send shots out, of course, to Brother Kwame, Brother um, Will Brown, Brother Jerome Sampson. I'm about to look outside, my friend. I hope I see something. Um, uh, brother uh, Isa Abdul Rashid. What's up, my man? Uh... Brother Hazen and I think Brother w wait Brother Wakesa came in for a second, um, cause I seen the thumb up. All right, cause I know some of y'all gotta get ready for work, so let me go on and get on out of here. Yeah, a lot of y'all ain't, um, you know what I'm saying. So with that, we out. Peace.